I can't believe it's got a boat on the roof. But it is actually a dinghy. You can see where the transom plate is. Here we are in Nathan and first time I've been on Andrew. Andrew. First time I've been on YouTube, so I'm a bit a bit shy about it. <laughs> but you've got an Avaco. It's a full off-grid camper. I'm gonna I'm gonna live in it. Right, excellent. No no day van. Hence what? the TV and everything. It's a nice else. setup though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And so, you've been to the pub, haven't you? Yes, correct. <laughs> very, very correct. You can barely speak. Uh, in the, no, I, I, I can speak very coherently. And you fell over about five times on the way. Yeah. <laughs> so how long you had it? I've had it about, about a month now. It's a Ivaco Daily, is it? Yeah, it was built Daily. built by a guy called Jake Jonadon, so credit goes to him yep. for the build. Well, you could just say you did it all yourself. In a no. weekend. <laughs> no, no, he'd be quite offended. He'd come and, he'd come and get me. He gave, he gave me a bollocking when I went and saw him for not cleaning the windscreen. <laughs> but it's yours now. Yeah, yeah. It's a good sale though, isn't it? I still feel like I owe some loyalty to him for building it. You know, I've got to look after it as he, as per he, he suggests. So yeah, we've got plenty. I can give you the tour. We've got plenty oh, of storage this. space up here. It's all empty as well. You can tell you've just moved in. Yeah, only yep. just been, well, we haven't moved into it yet. Moving into it in July. <laughs> oh, I see. So the YouTube channel might be up soon. So we've got all of our camping battery state of charge is running a little bit low. Then we've got the vehicle, the vehicle battery here. And then there's a water which is running a bit low. What's the tank on your van? Is it 80? 80 I've just litres? got two small tanks that I can fill from the tap. Real simple, you see. Oh, okay. And I don't need any hot water because I haven't got um, a shower. Mm. So I just have two ring gas burner, a gas yeah. bottle, to a valve, mm. and two small tanks. So we have to switch our hot water up. While yeah, we... we're not as clever as that, you see. Well, that's the uh, that gives us water pressure. So as soon as you switch that on, we've already done it, but it primes the uh, primes the water pumps. I and actually took you... notes Ooh. when he showed me around the van. I didn't know the nitty gritty in my head. I had to have it written down for reference. <laughs> to be honest, it's, it's quite impressive. The most important bit is here oh. that you've got also. Oh yeah, yeah, you've got to have that. That's opener. critical. That's a central piece you, of equipment. Have you opened your, your beer yet? In fact, if you get one of these... Yeah, you need to hold the camera for me. So, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so there you go. If you get so one of these... You for bringing that. You just turn the top. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, but that means we don't get to use the bottle opener. You've ruined the entire, the yeah, entire yeah, video. It's all now. open. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. I no, didn't what? get your name, sorry. I'm Dave. Dave. Yeah. Andrew. Hi. Nice to meet you, Andrew. And you've got a claim to fame, haven't you? On this van? Uh, not on this thing, I think. Yes, Have you I did. Got any? You ever flowed the toilet? I blame you for it. <laughs> Before I even met you. I, I'm a very small man. That, that, that was not me. I thought there. you were just pressing the button though. I'm, I'm a tiny man. Yeah. yeah you, you went in there. I, I pressed the button a lot. We didn't have the water <laughs> pump on. You were like, how does it work? And then you were like, because the, the pump comes on and it makes a noise. And it's quite sad. In fact, you can you can hear the noise, which is quite sad. No, we're not going to do it anymore because we've already overflowed it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it, it seems to be going down. Which you means it might be okay. Where's it going is the question. Yeah, it's gone down now. Excellent. Anyway, we can show you the noise yeah, that it makes. I broke is... nothing. So he's like, he hasn't got the water pump on. And he goes in there, he's like, how does it work? And he's pressing it. And then he goes like, oh, it's not working. <laughs> Press it, switch it off. Yeah, switch the switch pump on. There you go. So yeah, it makes like a proper, almost like an airplane. I, I am. Did you hear it? I did. He's like, ooh, he's <laughs> pressing it. Technology. I go in there this morning and I have to, because I'm desperately needing my morning piss, and I've, I've planned to go in there and not walk into the toilet block. We're all the way up there at that point. And I just had to go while it was overflowed. Oh um, dear. Lessons you, learned. There'll be far I, I, more I can't lessons be how learned. Accountable. If I'm completely honest, it was probably my fault as well. It's my first time camper vanning. <laughs> because I didn't tell him, and I should have told him that. <laughs> to be fair, we thought that the light was going to come on to warn us that it was like 70 or 80% full. That didn't happen. You'll learn now. You'll never yeah. do it again. No, and I you've got bunk again. beds at the back there then. I just saw that. So, so oh, yeah, yeah. That. that's incredible. So we've got the microwave down here, which is on the... <laughs> that's on the inverter, the inverter that powers the microwave. I'm on the microwave. <laughs> I didn't even realise yeah, that. You're, yeah, you're not going to have Decent kids. size fridge. 
Yeah, well, that's, a, that's an interesting sticker you've got on that fridge as well. Oh yeah, we've put your sticker away already, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that's a full on. size fridge, is it? It's got, it says it's got a fridge and then um, fridge feet. Is that a mains fridge? Um, so it goes off, off the, the 12, inverter. Runs off the 12 volt. Does it? Mm -hmm. Bloody hell, that's a decent size I fridge, think. is that? If Jake's on YouTube, he might correct me on that. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't actually gone through the van and figured if the, out how If that runs yet. off your inverter, that's probably mm. eating all your power. Ah, yeah. I think we'll yeah. notice that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the inverter is switched off. Is it? So and your fridge is still working? Unless there's another inverter for the fridge. Right. I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> like, I need to, because I mean, when I do take the... So the plan is, yep. basically, we've got the double... I'm getting into this YouTube thing You've, you've got a, bit, a full size bed in there. a bit there, shy. So yeah, we've got a full size bed in here. We can switch the lights on. And you can you can come and have a bit of a better look. Oh! So we've got the full size bed in here. Hell. And this is the dome thing on the top. Yeah, so this so this was an old boat. The person who built it found I don't know if he bought the boat or if he found it and thought I'll put that on top of my van. And uh yeah, he's now got the he's now got the boat on top of the van. So it's an old boat that's fiberglassed on the roof of the van. He's literally cut it out to give you extra space up there. Yeah, to give us that's incredible. Room. He's certainly got some decent sized speakers up there. Yeah, yeah. So they're quite nice actually. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got the it's heating controls around here, <laughs> so you can. Oh yeah. So you can put the um, Truma the, system. The, yeah. The water. The water. So that's like full. Uh, so you can get up to 21, up to 30 degrees, and it does get up to 30 degrees. Excellent. And plenty of storage. The last night we had it on 30, just to see how hot we could get it. And it cooked you? And it, no, it, it actually cut out eventually. Oh, right, the entire okay. system just switched off. <laughs> and I went and put my hand on the heater, and like, it hurt my hand, to be honest. That was a bit of a dumb thing to do. But. Then yeah, that's water heating, so it sort of seems to store the water. I don't know how any of it works, it's not a very impressive YouTube video for me anyway. But I will learn how, it's, I think it stores the hot water because you put it on boost and then you get hot water about half an hour until it all cools down. Got you. Okay. Yeah, then we've got storage Mega here. storage. I've got my, my sleep, my wrap sleeping bag there, just in case you run out of gas. <laughs> just in case the heater goes Which off. Which is entirely likely in this trip because we've already made quite a few But you are basically it. sleeping in an uptown boat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a great yeah, it's idea like though, isn't it? Of, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> when they've got the boat <laughs> And he's then, done a um, tremendous job on it though, hasn't he? He's done an amazing job. And then, yeah, there's some of my clothes down there. And I've got my man drawer here. Yeah, yeah, every day, everybody needs one of them. So what have I got? I've got, I've got some tools, <laughs> just in case the van breaks. <laughs> you'll, you'll fix a lot with it. And that. then I can prove just how inept <laughs> I am at fixing this thing. Uh, some, <laughs> that's for the hangover, because I had a hat. For some reason these days I seem to get a hangover after like one or two beers. You wait till you get to my age, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's all of the tumor documentation. I started to read through that when I was panicking last night. But then it came back on and I was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, never Works read the instructions. And then um Well, yeah, we've got an inverter here, another inverter, that's for my right. laptop because okay. I'm doing my Tefal course and right here. Well, I drive it to work sometimes. You'll save a lot of power yeah. if you get a 12 volt supply for your laptop. I've, I've bought a 12 volt, I have bought a 12 volt supply yeah. for my laptop, but it's not come through yet. Because you, you mm. waste so much power by going from 12 yeah. volt through an inverter to do that. Yeah. And yeah. if that's not a full, if that's a digital wave inverter, mm. it can knacker your laptop as well. Yeah, yeah, well, it doesn't actually charge the laptop for some reason. This one's not very good. See, originally I use them for work because when I'm doing transmission calibration, I have to plug uh, my laptop into the car, or I have to power some, I have to power other equipment, yeah. and sometimes the inverter is necessary. But a laptop charger would be better. Definitely. I have um, I use a MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air, and they're both run on 12 volts. Got those tools there. That's for, <laughs> that's for taking the um, because you've got the auto gas thing on the side. Oh yes, yeah. And that gets stuck sometimes, so you have to pull that out. Excellent. So you have to curl in your bed to change your gas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the old TV bracket. And uh, what else have we got? Oh, the digital TV antenna. They're which, fantastic there. Well, the TV doesn't work for some reason. They you... are amazing. I've got yeah. one of them on my van, and mm. Joe's back in the van watching TV. Yeah, well, the TV won't tune in for some reason, so mm -hmm. maybe you can give us a hand we'll with that. Look. We'll have a look. And then under here, you've got two small bunks and a garage at the back. So there, even I can't lie on either of those bunks. Kiddies bunks. So the, 
but the plan is to take one of them out. Yeah. Unless I accidentally have kids over the next two years. No, I don't. Or do the that. next six months. It cost you a fortune. Though. So basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take this one out. Yep. And I can get my mountain bike in the back. Excellent. And my surfboard in the back. And this one I'm going to extend because you see there's a bit of a storage area at the back. Yep. Yep. So I'm going to extend that into the storage area. Uh huh. And um, yeah, then we'll be able to put a mountain bike in the back. Everything. Excellent. We've got the other oven here as well. He's More done a fantastic area. job, hasn't he? The finish on it's really good. And then the most important cupboard here is this one. <laughs> with all the I think you might need some shelves in there, mightn't you? I well, see I'm there's gonna... a pan that's never going to be used as well. No, that is getting used is it tonight. Getting used? Is I'm it? Chucking it, chucking oh, a chili con carne Woo! tonight, which is free to come, have a, come and have a bit of. And then yeah, we can so we can lift this up and have access to down there. And you can go and film down there. If you want. That's an ideal setup in there though, isn't it? But as you say, if you haven't got two little kids, it's a bit of wasted space. Unless you get yourself a dog. It's tempting to get a dog, you know. Good dog's bed, isn't it? <laughs> we could always bring um, Colby away. He's too hard work for this fan. Yeah. <laughs> You're not having Colby. You're not having my where's one underwear. There's, there's two things for this fan. <laughs> it's between you and me. <laughs> Nothing dodgy in here, is there? <laughs> Apart from the uh, idea of a ship coming up through the <laughs> That's There's plenty of room in there, isn't there? Yeah, I haven't had a shower in there yet. Yeah. I'm going to try it on the last day. They've got a hose pump to fill up there if you run out of water. That's good. So you've got an awning on the side as well. Yeah, They're the always awning. good. Nobody I've put brackets on mine here so you can fasten the legs of the awning onto here right, instead yeah. of having them in the ground. It doesn't blow away. But it just makes it a bit more stable. So then we've got the horse on here. Okay. Is it a horse or a pegasus? Are they the wing? Is it the mane or the wings? Yeah. I think it's the mane, to be honest. Has it got a name? Have you named it yet? No, not yet. <laughs> and there's the boat on the roof. Yeah, there's the boat from the outside. And we've got the reversing cameras. <laughs> so the plan basically is, we've got any, I don't know, we've only got one gas canister. Uh -huh. So the plan would be to have these perpendicular, yep. running perpendicular to the van, bring this back, take that bed out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we've got plenty of storage. And the flow master there. You'd get a motorbike in there practically, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's the... You could probably get a motorbike in there now, now to be honest. Yeah. And yeah, we'll, we'll show you the best, the best part. I don't know. The it... <laughs> boat on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The boat around it. How many miles has it done? That's not bad, is it? Let me turn the light off to get the full effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. What are you going to call it? The Coca Cola van? <laughs> Santa. And then it gets even better if you walk to the front now. And the... <laughs> oh dear. Not bad, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know. But I do like them. They might be a little bit ostentatious. <laughs> but they are good nonetheless. <laughs> oh yeah, so... The first trip in the van was obviously to take my nan out. And... Um, we have got this here that we call the nan step. So that's yeah. very well demonstrated. Yes. My nan, yes. My nan couldn't get in the van in the van without that. So it's, I do take my nan out it's quite a lot. Yeah. That's the first stage of my like cool sort of <laughs> sort of outdoorsy van. Take my nan out with take you. Take my nan out. Yeah. It's not wrong with that. My nan and the dogs. It's, it's good. I like it. But the first trip is actually on my mum's page, which is go out Paul's Coventry, she's a dog walker. Uh -huh. So for, the first trip in the van is documented on there, because I haven't bothered to make a blog yet. <laughs> I love the boat on the roof though. <laughs> oh dear God. Yeah, Let's turn the light off again. Expect to see a lot more of it on the internet. <laughs> People's going to think there's some sort of space alien landed. 
You'll be in a wild camp somewhere, switch that light on and you'll scare somebody to death. Starship enter ramp. <laughs> entry ramp. Whatever. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, you've done well to get that. Really good. Yeah, what do you think to eight for 18 grand? That's amazing. Really is. I think it's quite a good price for it. It is. Yeah, it's perfect for living in for a year, I think. Oh, easy. You'll easily live in that. As I say, there's quite a few people on YouTube that mm. have got the same van and they're living them full time. Travel around Europe all over the place in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, that's beer.